Hi everybody, happy new year. I'm starting off the year with brand new books to share. And the very first one of 2024 is The Monster Above the Bed. It is written by Kaylee Pugh and it's published by HarperCollins. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to share this book with you today. So are you ready to find out what this book is all about? Let's get started. All right, you ready to find out about The Monster Above the Bed? There was a monster above Blossom's bed. She was sure of it. And it was terrifying. High pitched screams made her fur stand on end and she crawled under the covers. Something shook her window just as her eye started to close. Wee, ee, rattle, rattle, creak. Low menacing growls kept her awake throughout the night. Snort, huff, grunt. What do you think it is? During the day, Blossom could mostly forget the monster. She jumped rope, she swam laps, she played ball. But when it was time to get ready for bed, Blossom's fears came creeping back. She couldn't focus as she washed her face and paws. She got all mixed up when she brushed her fangs and tangled her fur. She even forgot to put on her pajamas before her bedtime story. She's all mixed up. And when the lights went out, her troubles really began. Rattle, rattle, creak, ee, wee. There's no such thing as monsters, Blossom told herself. There's no such thing as, Mom, Dad, she yelled, there's a monster above my bed. But by the time her parents made it upstairs, the monster was surprisingly silent. It's sneaky, Blossom insisted. Get some sleep, Mom said with a smile. There's nothing there, Dad said with a hug. Blossom wanted to believe him. She tried desperately to believe him, but then snort, huff, grunt. What is it? What do you think it is? After another sleepless night, Blossom took matters into her own claws. She prepared for everything. Flashlight, check. Long stick, check. Hammer and body armor, check, check. Blossom climbed through her window and what do you think is going to happen? Got trapped. Oh no. Aha! I knew there was a monster under my bed, said the monster. What? I'm not a monster. You are. Blossom sobbed. Please don't eat me. I would taste terrible. Really? The beast scrutinized Blossom from horns to tail. This is it, thought Blossom. Will it boil me, steam me, bake me? The monster came closer. And who's the monster? Is that just a girl? Hmm. And unlocked the trap. Blossom sprang back to take a good look at this monster. A head full of fur that looked pretty. A mouthful of teeth that looked blunt. Large eyes that looked curious. The thing took a step forward. One corner of its mouth turned up in a grin. Blossom yelped and dove for the dust ruffle. <laughs> Blossom had never met a monster before and this one had let her go. Maybe it wasn't so bad after all. The next day, Blossom, Blossom crafted a plan, a terrifying risky plan, but she had to know the truth. She prepared everything. A camera, pencil, notebook, and most importantly, a helmet and body armor. Blossom's paws shook and her fangs rattled as she climbed back through the window. Hidden in the shadows, she prepared to find out what had kept her awake for so long. Wee! Ee! Look, she's singing. Blossom took careful notes. 
Look at all those noises. The rattle, rattle. She recorded the beast's every move and she didn't leave until she had the answer she needed. Click, click, snort, huff, grunt. Look, the rattle is her jumping on the bed and the sniffs and the huffs and the grunts are probably her just sleeping, maybe snoring. Poor Blossom. The next morning, Blossom woke up feeling rested for the first time in a long time. She spread out the pictures from the night before, carefully studying each one. Blossom's smile grew as she moved everything into her journal. But before she could finish gluing, her window creaked open, a hand slipped through the crack and dropped a piece of paper. Blossom added it to her notebook and flipped through the pages one last time. With the final piece of evidence in place, she came to a new conclusion. And what do you think she decided? There was a friend above Blossom's bed. She was sure of it. And it was terrific. The end. And you want to read the note? It says, hi, what's your name? I'm Loy. Want to meet up sometime? I won't eat you. Promise. Maybe neither one of us is a monster. The end. So what did you think about this story? Did you see this one coming? What did you think? Definitely let me know on our Instagram page and I will be back next week with brand new books to share. So until then, everyone have a great weekend. Come in and check out this book and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.